So I thought to myself, these are some interesting um, objects and I'd like to write a poem about these objects. I'd like to somehow figure out how to write a poem in some way with all these amazing objects I've, I've found or some of them. So how would I start doing that? I thought I would share with you how I might start doing that. So here I go. I think the first thing I would do is go over to my nice, beautiful, plain paper, and I would just tell myself I'm writing a poem at the top. That would just help me. I don't know if that helps me. Um, but then the first thing I would do is I would try to find connections between all these objects, because this is one poem, one poem that's going to include a lot of things, but somehow has to, has to make sense altogether. So I guess I would ask myself, what are the connections? That would be the very first thing I would think of. Um, and so if I think about, if I go back and think about all my objects, how are they connected? Are they connected in the way they look? Are they connected in the way they make me feel? When I think about them, a lot of them, I have a rock, I have a stick, I have a piece of bark, I have a log. A lot of them are either gray or brown. That seems to be something that they all have in common. They're either gray or brown. So I might think about that as possibly something to focus on. I have to find my line here, sorry. Gray, brown. Does that interest me to write a poem about the colors gray and brown? I don't think so, actually. When I think about it, I don't know what I would do with that. I'm not, I don't, I feel like that's not it. So I'm going to keep going and keep thinking. What else do these things have in common? Hmm. So I have an acorn. An a Whoa, I have a lot of acorns here. Acorn is so interesting. Okay, so what I'm realizing right now is I have a lot of overlap, right? Under, under the category of round, I have the bottom of an acorn. Under the category of rough, I have the top of an acorn. Under the category of smooth, I have the bottom of an acorn. There's a lot of overlap. Acorns are round and smooth and rough. I find that kind of interesting. I'm just going to write that down. Here I go. So, overlap. Hmm. Acorns. Rough. Move round dot dot and dot. Oops, I missed my dot there. Yeah, okay, I'm interested now. More interested. What else do these have in common? The other thing that I'm starting to notice is many of them come from trees, right? So acorns are the start of a tree, of an oak tree, um, sticks come from trees. Bark come from, comes from trees. A hollow log is an old tree. A leaf comes from a tree. The Y-shaped stick came from a tree. Wow, okay, we have trees in common here. I'm just going to jot that down. What's interesting to me about that is that a lot of these are the different times of the life of a tree, right? The acorn, the stick, the hollow log. They're all trees, but a different time in that tree's life. Wow, okay, that interests me. That feels like maybe there's a poem in that. If I could somehow follow a tree through its life a little bit, that seems and feels like a poem. And I feel like where I would have to start would be with this hollow log, because that was the most interesting thing to me of all here, the hollow log near Johnson's Pond. And I have to say, I think that might be my first line. I'm just gonna write that down. The hollow log near Johnson's Pond. It would be one line in a poem, but I'm just gonna start with that. The hollow log near Johnson's Pond. And I'm gonna think more about that because I think that could make an interesting poem. So that's what I would do. I'm going to stop there because I need to go work on my poem right now. Um, and I would love for you to go off and write a poem about your glorious words of the glorious things that you found and see if you can find connections. You might have really different connections. Give yourself a chance to look for connections um, and maybe it won't be the first thing you think of. 
but see if you can find the connections and make a poem out of your wonderful objects. I cannot wait to read them. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Bye.